Learning how to use CAD was one of the smartest moves I've ever made. Just look around you, almost everything you see started life on a CAD program. I'm Tom Norris, I'm an architectural designer, and I use CAD every day to create beautiful homes for people to live in. Okay, so today uh, we're looking at changing hatches and changing colors of shapes and so on. Uh, pretty straightforward, easy enough to do in most cases, but there's a few things which I should be able to help you with. So if we look at, uh, take a, a normal uh, rectangle, for example, we want to change the color, very simple. I'm sure you know that already. Uh, we want to change the hatch, then uh, Again, very simple, change the color of the hatch, go to color, uh, take border away. So that stuff you probably know because it, and it's probably easy because it's a standard shape. Same applies to any kind of square or rectangle, circle, etc. Uh, but when it's odd shapes, that's where the difficulty comes in. So for example, if I wanted to hatch or change a bit of color on a shape to represent uh, like in this case, the color represents the extension being done on the property. So we've extended here at the back, and we've extended there. So this one's easy because as you can see, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a rectangle straight and it's a ready made. This one, we took the lazy way out. We made two pieces. Uh, it was done in two pieces rather than uh, forming a polyline. Uh, if we go to this elevation drawing, these are all polylines that we created so that we could hatch to get the uh, shape. And these are the ones I'm going to show you because these are the ones that people have problems with. So now let's assume you know how to do that. But I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an, an, an odd shape. And... And then we're going to fill it and I'll show you how, how we do that. So if I just make it more interesting, there you go. So now if we try to fill that, we can't because the lines aren't joined up. So the simplest way of redoing it, which is what we do on our drawings, layouts and elevations, etc. If we want to color uh, or hatch a particular piece, then uh, is we basically get the polyline tool over here on the right and we trace over it. So we're gonna go pint, 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 pint. And when we get to the end one, you've gotta close it. If you don't close it, this doesn't work. And then you click, you're gonna get your polyline. Now you've got a polyline that you can fill, in color or hatch. So I'll show you what I mean by that. That's in black. Uh, now it's in, change the color, light, light color, nice yellow. Uh, if we want to take the border away, just pop over here, uh, to select nothing, and you effectively get n nothing on, as in no border. Uh, now, if we want to hatch this with a shape, uh, or with something or other, uh, and as you can see, you've got a hatch. Um, the hatch is now here. So um, you want to change the density or the scale of the hatch. And just double click it and go to brush. And in most cases, you're allowed to change it here. But in certain, uh, certain hatches, you're not. In this one, you're not. So let's do one. Let's change the hatch to one that we can change the scale on. And then bring it up again. Change the scale to 15. And you can see it's very, very tight. And because it's very, very tight, and when you pull out from it, it just represents in one color, um, a blanket of color. So what I'm going to do again to represent, I'm going to change something I'm, we use frequently. Uh, and that is change it to tiles. We'd use roofing tiles and the hatch size we use generally is about 17. And the coloring we use for that is generally uh, gray. 
Well, I've done the wrong one, yes. Uh, light gray. So there you go. So now, if I come down to the drawing here, you can see how that was made. Uh, just pull it off. That's it. So we traced over using the polyline tool here, which is, you know, it's multi-line, sometimes it's called multi-line, but it's called the polyline. Just go around, all the way around, and then just click close. And once you click close, double click, uh, fill with a hatch or a color, and uh, off you go. And if you want to change the scale, just double click. I've uh, got a brush scale if I change it to 50 the tile is going to get three times bigger as you can see that's what happened uh, okay now it's a simple lesson but it's one you got to remember it'll come in really useful when you need to change the color or something or hatch out something with a shape or a pattern uh, to represent whatever it is you're doing okay simple lesson hope you enjoy it uh, have enjoyed it and I hope you remember you remember it so uh, that's about it. See you on the next lesson.